Good morning, Joella May here. I'm having an issue figuring out how I wanna do lighting today. Today is day 38 of my 60 day guided medication meditation commitment inspired by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Uh, I guess I'll just put the bright light on because I have a fan on today, so I'm not gonna be lighting. Ugh. Whoa. Bright light, bright light. <sighs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's see if I can move you back a little bit. Okay. Put my glasses on so I can see you guys. I know I should do all this before I start the video, right? Yeah, I know. I'm as awake as you get. Alright. Oh, you get glare today. Oh, well. Where am I at? Where am I at? So, today's video I did, it was a different video. Um, I mean, similar to some of the other love videos, but it was different. It, uh, I was scrolling through my phone and I noticed that the videos on my phone are different than the videos on my TV, so I did one from my phone today. It was titled Love with a Big Pink Love, and that was it. So, I was like, okay. It's, I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, it looked like an album cover or something. So I thought it was going to be more of a song, but it was a meditation. Like, it went right into it. It didn't have any preempt. So that confused me for, for a second. And, like, it didn't, like, slow down, close off, like, closed off and cut off. <laughs> you know, usually he'll have the music play for, like, a minute or two after he tells you to open your eyes. And it's, like, once you open your eyes, it cut off. And then I went into this other um, thing, um, Dr. Joe Q&A, downloads through your fingers. So I was like, oh, and it was, like, really cool. But it, like, popped me up, like, really fast, you know, out of the meditation. So I wasn't expecting that. And I was, I was like, because I wasn't fully prepared to go into the meditation, so I was thinking I was going to do a second one. But now I want to watch the Q&A. So, anyway, the last night, I put in a hypnosis meditation, the one where the screen goes black. So there was really no intro on that one either. But um, my routine to going to bed was a little different. I did something yesterday. I went to an herbalist lady was 74 um so i don't remember i didn't bring the flyer in here i brought the products in here that i got <laughs> so right now i'm drinking this stuff is called rejuvenate is it for my heart she said i have a bad heart because first thing she did when she touched me was like you're too cold you shouldn't be that cold i'm like well i don't like air conditioning so it's like yeah you have a bad heart i'm like and she reaffirmed it with the muscle test and everything. <sighs> this tastes like beets. It's the stevia aftertaste that bothers me, but it's very light. I'm not a stevia person. It's one sweetener I really don't like. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm a strong honey person. <laughs> I'll do agave and I'll do like maple syrup and stuff, but yeah, I'm a honey person. <laughs> so last night, my sleeping routine that was different, she gave me this thing called hops. I love hops. I've always preferred hops. Like when I drink beer, I drink dark beer because it has more hops in it. That's my reason for drinking if I drink. But so yeah, so she had me take six of them. And I was like, how long is it going to take to hit me? Because I've never taken a sleeping aid before, like ever. And she was also telling me that I could take one for anxiety if I needed to. Like she gave me an example of one time she got really anxious about something. And then she went in her room, she took one and she felt a lot better and was able to continue her day. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, um, I think I 
She told me to take them with supper, but I didn't take it with supper because you know me. Well, I don't know if you do, but it takes me sometimes anywhere from three to four hours to eat my food. So I didn't want to fall asleep in the middle eating my food, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so I waited until I was done eating and then I took it. Um, I think maybe I had a little ice cream or something. Just so I was eating something with it. If that was a necessity or something, I didn't ask. Um, and I didn't read. It's not on the bottle to say take with food, I don't think. Yeah, no. <clears throat> but within 30 minutes, I was like doing that, trying to finish the episode of whatever show I was watching. Because, you know, I don't normally, or maybe you don't, but I don't normally watch TV. And I was, since I was sitting down and eating, I was like, okay, I'll watch TV. And um, I was nodding out. I was like, oh, oh I got to put my episode on. So that's when I put Joe's hypnosis on. And I conked right out. Like, it was black screen. And I was like, within 10 minutes, I was waking. I felt like I was waking up 10 minutes later. But it was like the next day, um, I went to go pee. And I conked back out. I noticed the screen was paused and it was different, so I left it off. When I knocked back out after peeing, I couldn't understand why the hypnosis wasn't on because it's an 11 hour video. But I was too tired to touch anything and I didn't want to look at anything and figure it out. So I just knocked back out. And this morning when I woke up, it got three quarters of the way through the video and started playing something else. I don't know why. YouTube does that sometimes, or my TV does that sometimes, while I'm sleeping. It's weird. I don't get it. So, when I woke up this morning, I was just grog, like groggy, but not groggy, if that makes any sense. Like, I was still sleepy. Like, I still wanted to sleep longer. I don't even know what time it is, and I don't know where I put my other phone, so I can't look at the time right now. Mm. Yeah, I remember being tired and trying to figure out where my other phone was because I wanted to look at the time because this phone had gone to sleep. But, I don't know. I have to look for it. Maybe it's in my car. So I went on so many um, little adventures because after going to the herbalist, I went to the store and, yeah. And then it was interesting, too, because the lady in the store, I think her name is Maggie, and then I met, and then like 20 minutes later, I met a lady named Margie. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just met a lady named Maggie. And she's like, oh my gosh, I was named after my grandmother Maggie. And I was like, wow, okay, interesting. And then I had the, the number of synchronicities yesterday a lot. Cause like going to the lady's store. Oh yeah. So in the morning, and this, I think, is why I'm so right now. Because um, I'm, I'm kind of in my head, but I'm not. I don't know if that makes sense. I know I feel like I'm an autopilot because of the way I'm talking. Ah! When, when I try to slow down, my tongue hurts. <laughs> that was funny. So, she gave me this thing called Holly. As you know, with my relationship issues. Trying to get over everything and, you know... Trying to learn how to love myself. So this is supposed to help me let go of all the um, self-hatred. So we'll see how it works. Yes, I take four droppers a day. Let's see how it goes. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, so I got emotional release, heart, and sleep. Yeah. What? So, yeah, I did a huge shift yesterday in changing my life. That's what that is, because I, and it's like, I've been thinking about wanting to get um, uh, different vitamins or supplements, because I like the vitamins I'm taking, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with them, but I didn't feel like I was getting like that full oomph. And, like, even though I was taking some of the Bach remedies and stuff, like, I was only doing one or two droppers of whatever I was doing because I didn't want to run out and I just wanted to make sure I had some. 
But now that I had a, an actual consultation, and she's like, four droppers of this every morning. One of these every day, you know. And then six of these every night. So I'm like, okay. It's like a prescription. It's so cool. I'm not used to that. I've never had an... I've never had an herbalist consultation before. So... <clears throat> it really impacted me that way. And another thing she had in her store that I totally, totally love that I'm so excited to use again because I haven't had this bottle in over like seven or eight years since I last found it and I spilled most of it and I cried because, you know, and I went back to try to find it again and life got in the way, so never found it again, but I found it at her store yesterday. <gasps> Comfrey oil. Like what? And this is the exact same company too. The same label. Because I carried that em empty bottle around from, with me for years. And I only threw it away last year. Because I got tired of wanting to remind myself to get it. Because, you know, it's an empty bottle. I can't believe I finally got it again. I'm so happy. This stuff is so cool. Mm -hmm. It's skincare for... People and pets, you can use it on sprains, bruises, and swelling. It's amazing. Like, seriously amazing. Yeah. Ross used to love it when I would massage his feet with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were both very sad when the bottle spilled. But anyway, so meditations today. Last night I did the hypnosis, and this morning I did the love. So, and I'm feeling really energized between this and this this morning and I guess this will help me conk out because I did these yesterday so this is my second dose of these today I'm wondering if I it was intense taking just having something make me sleepy like that I don't know it's a new experience for me oh and I'm glad I finally got some charcoal so I can burn my resins <laughs> Because I've been burning them in my bowl and it's been weird. I don't know. So, and my resins are a, um, a strange smell. I have the Three Kings resin. And there's something in there that's slightly off. That doesn't mix well with my other incense. I don't know. So I want to see if I burn it on this separately. If it'll smell better. Or different. Or more appealing to me. Yeah. Craziness. But as you can tell, I'm like really happy and excited feeling and yeah, so I don't know if this stuff is working, if it's a placebo effect. It was, the videos aren't much different from every other video I've been doing. This is the only new factor in my life in the past 24 hours. So, yeah. I can see it as I'm looking at myself videotaping myself there's a different there's a little bit of a difference in me I could feel a little bit different after talking to her um, I don't know if you know much about muscle muscle testing and crystals and stuff but yeah it's pretty neat um, I've had muscle testing before and crystal checking before um, but like I said I've never had it done with the herbalist consultant in that fashion before so it was really neat I highly recommend that if you've never been to an herbalist, go get consulted by one. I remember there was one, a Chinese one near my mom's house that I wanted to go to and I never got to go to and I always kind of regretted it. So I'm really happy that um, I got to meet her yesterday and do this. Um, new direction in life part of manifestations, you know, taking control of what I put in my body and timing and things. Because, it, you know, <sighs> manifestation is an interesting um, process, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. It needs to see you doing for yourself for you to be 
for it to be doing for you because of the because doing for yourself breaks up the blockages for it to be able to do for you does that make sense mm -hmm. let me know write something down in the description box subscribe have a conversation i love conversations obviously i'm making these videos because i know how to talk too much right yes i know so i'm good with it mm. yeah i want to finish my drink well that was said 15:33, and it's moved on because it's a second hacker anyway i'm feeling really good today as I said, since uh, 38 of the 60, which is pretty neat to me. Um, I've never made a commitment like this before, for myself before. And I mean, and don't get me wrong, I've always done vitamins and this and that and healthy things. And, you know, I do my teas and I introduce all the different new um, things that I do all the time but when you get um, a little bit of an affirmation or reaffirmation from another person that you are on the right track with what you're doing and and, and because they are on that path too it just you know it, it, it feels really good um, yeah because I didn't get that encouragement from either of my partners. Like, my second husband did it in the beginning, but in the end, he almost started making fun of it, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, uh, and it made me very insecure. Um, so, I'm getting my confidence back is you know a much larger uh task for me i gave him so much of my i gave him all my power like literally i was almost a complete drone of who i was like uh and i'm still trying to understand it because it wasn't my nature to be that way like ever um but I know I used to always say in every relationship in the beginning of every relationship I will marry you within six months I will be you so if there's anything that you do to me that you don't like don't do it because I'll do it if you've done it if that makes sense but, um, because I won't do it consciously, I'll do it subconsciously. It's like a reactive thing. Um, and by getting this Holly, when I was talking to her and her telling me about my heart disease and my bloodline, it triggered a lot of memories, if that makes any sense. Um, not just in this lifetime, but in other things, the full scheme of situations. Because, like, there's certain phrasings and conversations that you have with people. Like, why I'm so excited to watch this uh, Q&A of downloads through the fingers. Because of how excited he got after the person asked the question. And then getting ready to give the answer but I was like wait a minute I gotta do my video I just finished watching I just finished doing my meditation I gotta do my reflection before I get into my daily routine so I that's why I paused it on my phone put it up on the TV paused it so I could do this video so it's like a new phasing for me because I've never watched his Q&A's before I've always tried to try to stay more focused on doing the meditations daily I mean I've seen his interviews and at a certain point, the interviews kind of got repetitive to me, so I just stopped watching them. I've never seen the Q&As before, so I'm excited to see another aspect of Dr. Shredo Samsa. 
or Dr. Joe, as this one says, which is cool by me because my nickname growing up was Joe. Um, some people still call me Joe, and I'm fine with that. But I, when I moved up to North Carolina, is when I started using my full name, Joella, because I wanted to get used to um, being called my name. Mm -hmm. um, so I could honor my full self. Um, you know, I gave myself this name for a reason. You're like, what? Wait. Yeah, because remember, we make contracts before we come here. So, mm hmm. I already knew what my name would be, and my parents had that conversation to agree Oof. while I was conceived. Remember, that's how things work. Anyway, so I never wanted to give up. I, I mean, I've used pseudonames, don't get me wrong. When um, ever I want to do different personifications, you know, like studying for an acting role or something. Or, you know, when we're kids and we idolize someone, we'll like call ourselves that name for a bit because we think they're really cool people. Or, um, you know, you kind of act like an actor or an actress when you're a kid, so other kids start calling you that name. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to get called Molly a lot, like Molly Ringwald. Because <laughs> I had short red hair and a lot of freckles. That's a little hard to see right now because I'm so pale. I haven't been in the sun properly in forever. But anyway. <laughs> I'm really rambling here. So, with that, back to hypnosis. Hypnosis. Back to the meditation reflections. Last night was hypnosis. This morning was love. I have a new regimen in my um, daily life cycle, and um, I'm excited about it, as you can tell. <laughs> so I'm going to watch Dr. Joe with his Q&As today, and I'm going to have fun working on remodeling my room. Yeah, when I was doing the meditation this morning, I was having a little epiphany on how I wanted to get things, how I wanted to place things, I guess you could say. Because, yeah, I totally want to take everything apart. I mean, I wish I could move the TV, um, but that that's a little bit of wire work, and so that's not going to happen. But I can rearrange the bookshelves and stuff, so I went on to work on that. Mm-hmm before I put the bed back down. I really kind of don't want to put the bed back down because I'm really enjoying my mat experience. I think, I think it's day five that I've slept on my mat and um, I like the level of simplicity and humility that comes with it, if that makes any sense. It's a little bit more earthing to me to sleep on the mat. Last night was the first time I brought my pillow and blanket back out because I've been kind of like getting really tired and just wanting to pass out into the meditation and just using my robe because it's fuzzy. So I love fuzzy. That's my thing. Um, but I don't know. It was funny because yesterday I was thinking, ah, oh, a bed of nails. I always wanted to get a bed of nails. I wonder if um, I could do something like that. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe I'll cut the bed in half. <laughs> that would be interesting you know or cut like most of it in half so I could fold it in half <laughs> you know I don't know I'm just going through so much with trying to figure out what to do and how to do things and I know I need a purge and I'm getting ready I think I'm finally ready to do that today. We'll see how it goes. I've been gearing up for it for months now. Doing little things here and there, but I think I might be doing my big purge today. Hopefully.
likely. We'll see. Ugh. I have no idea. I'm just... Mm, I'm trying... No, I'm not trying. I am doing um, different life-changing moments every day. I'm not committing to which one I do yet, but I'm putting them out in the universe to make them more um, physically feasible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today I want to do my big purge. Oh, my hair looks so pretty today. I know, that's why I keep playing it. I can't, I, I get obsessive with hair. It's always been my thing. I got in trouble. Oh, am I going on another tangent, aren't I? Okay, never mind. This is supposed to just be a meditative, reflective video. I'm going to let, with that, say, I love you. And I love me. And you love you. And I'll take care of me. And you take care of you. And we'll be good. <laughs> and remember, I'm here for you. You can always comment down below. I'll respond. I know how things can be. I'm not fully ready to do all my projects yet, but they're twerking in the brain, in the heart, with the brain. I'm trying to get them to evenly work together harmoniously then projects will align <clears throat> but gotta get the brain and heart to be harmonious mm -hmm. before everything can be come into fruition <sighs> make sense yeah part of manifesting remember I said blockages when you have the blockages it's hard to fully get manifestations through because they'll sit there on that block like i can't do anything where do you want me to go okay i'll go around 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 again okay i go no yeah so you gotta work on them blockages i'm i'm doing it i got one two three things to help me with my blocks so it's not like i had insomnia but, I don't know, I had a hard time staying asleep, I guess. I don't know, she said I needed it. I feel different. I don't know which one it is. Is it the combination? A plus. <laughs> okay, back to Dr. Joe. And with I say that, have an amazing grand rising, you beautiful souls. Mm.